check out our shirt on Teespring. Hey folks, what's going on? A little world, a little curious. Not you know, I'm going to talk about this uh, one person. Because I think he's one of the most wackiest, craziest person to ever uh, work in our government. And of course, there's uh, Margaret uh, Teller Green. is a Georgia senator. Very much see the stream is cool on spirit theory, crazy nut of a person. These kind of public officials are a wet dream for uh, Saturday Night Writers. I'm going to make good videos about this person because she will not keep her mouth shut and says stupid things. Her problem is she doesn't know the facts. One of the major samples of her stupidity is like she goes around telling about the whole like uh, the key litter about schools playing key hitter because some kids believe there was some kind of animal that proves that was nothing true about it. But she went on about that and a lot of people believe her. So this video is about her claiming that there's some kind of Jewish businessman creating these like satellites that she lasers to clear out forests for the high speed train thing they're building in California. And she believes it caused a Paradise Fire in 2018. It was all planned with the governor at the time, Jerry Brown. And so in her little wacky brain, she puts on Facebook claiming this is their plan to clear out the forest to build a high-speed train. But you look at the map of it, the forest may go as uh, Sacramento, but the plan was, you know, go to San Francisco. But it's just wackiness. Elected Georgia Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene is facing growing outrage tonight. A pair of Bay Area congressmen are blasting her for backing a wild theory involving the campfire and space lasers. KPIX 5's Betty Yu explains. The campfire, which killed 85 people in 2018, is the latest focus of conspiracy theories backed by freshman representative Marjorie Taylor Greene. She speculated that it was started by a Jewish space laser in a now-deleted Facebook post. The blaze that leveled the town of Paradise was later traced to PG&E electrical equipment. North Bay Democrats Mike Thompson and Jared Huffman represent areas hard hit by recent fires in Napa and Sonoma counties. They issued a joint statement saying in part, these comments made by our colleague from Georgia are not only false and nonsensical, but downright disrespectful. They're an insult to the firefighters in Butte County, our district, and across California who have lost their lives fighting fires like the campfire. Republican Congressman Doug LaMalfa, who represents Paradise, had no comment, but an aide told the LA Times, Congressman LaMalfa believes that poor forest management practices advocated by misguided environmentalists have caused dangerous fuel loads and increasingly severe western wildfires. Green is one of the former president's loudest supporters. She has promoted false QAnon conspiracy theories. She's also come under fire for suggesting the Sandy Hook and Parkland school shootings were staged and indicating support for the execution of House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. She's now facing calls to resign and a long shot bid to expel her from Congress. Oakland Representative Barbara Lee described Green this way. Marjorie Taylor Green is an example of the enemy within. So we have to be extremely concerned about those within, but also those uh, outside of the Capitol. This didn't just start January 6th. These groups are organized and they're very clear in terms of their message trying to deny that uh, Joe Biden uh, won the election and they're trying to uh, engage in attempted coup and they're doing this by any means necessary and so we have to be concerned the threats are real. For her part, Representative Green is calling the push to expel her from office a witch hunt. Betty Yu, KPIX 5. Both lawmakers and activists are calling for Green to be removed from her post on the House Education Committee. And then she backtracks, say, I don't know anything about this, but you put on your Facebook announcing about, you know, the false claims about the campfire fire in 2018. So the House Speaker had a little chat with her, basically behind closed doors, saying that you're making us look like a bunch of fools. You just have to cut down this, this disability that comes out of your mouth. Well, let me be very clear. There is no place for QAnon in the Republican Party. I do not support it. And the, the 
the candidate you talked about has denounced it. I've had discussions with Marjorie Greene. She won that uh, primary, and she recently came out and denounced the Q uh, organization, whatever beliefs. I do not agree with their beliefs at all. If there's no evidence that a plane hit the Pentagon on 9-11, do you know if she's reverted back to I, I, a I different will, position? I will ask that? her about that. I have not seen that or have not heard that before, but I do know uh, my conversation with her that she has denounced the Q on. So to me, that is a step in the right direction. I've watched Marjorie denounce the QAnon, but I will tell you that will not be allowed or tolerated in this Republican Party. Our party is very diverse. You mentioned two people who are going to join our party, and both of them have denounced QAnon. So the only thing I would ask of you in a press, these are new members, give them an opportunity before you claim what you believe they have done and what they will do. I think it would be helpful if you could hear exactly what she told all of us, denouncing QAnon. I don't know if I say it right. I don't even know what it is. Um, any from the shootings. She said she knew nothing about lasers or all the different things that have been brought up about her. Um, and so from that perspective, she's now a member. If, if we are now going to start judging what other members have said before they're even members of Congress, I think it's going to be a hard time for the Democrats to place anybody on committee. The part when he says, you know, do not judge, you know, these people before they became into office, but you got to be careful what you say because, you know, you're impacting other people's lives. You're a sample of the area. This is so stupidity of her. I, I just can't explain it. It just gives me a headache trying to explain about her. But I'm pretty sure she'll do a lot more stupid things, and she did a while ago with Biden's son's um, laptop. For example, why a lot of people outside the United States believe that we're a bunch of fools, because the people we elect into uh, power, and I don't blame them, honestly. Also, my later views about her is she doesn't do her fact checks or anything about, anything about history. She just opens her mouth and a lot of crap comes out. And the question is, she has people that work for her that she pays them to help her out with speeches and facts so she won't look like her fool. Her public image of her is a clown. A stupid, idiot, ridiculous looking clown. So, good luck. You know, keep saying stuff and I hope I'll make fun of you some more. Uh, I'll say about this. Like and subscribe. Maybe it'll be better next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.